Oh, shoes. Okay, here we go. Ooh, you back to yes. <laughs> and we're back. Don't fuck up. I got one job. One job. Is it back? It's back. Oh, the concert. So I was going to do this at other people's living rooms, which I'm still open to. Um, it was a contest kind of thing. And then I think I got knocked up. So I oh, do it. that's nice. Okay. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, that's nice. That's a good point. The day happened because skeet, my skeet. friend Rhonda skeet, in skeet. Cincinnati was like, you should do a living room concert on your birthday. That would be dope. That's a great idea, so here we are. Right. Happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. Happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. For sure. 37. Mm, 37. How does that feel? I, I, I felt weird about the late 30s. I'm like 40s, like right there. There's nothing wrong with 40s. 40s but, shit. What are you talking about? But I'm like, what? <laughs> From the resident <laughs> old guy. <laughs> All right. Oh, I need to be present at 29. Like, oh my God, I'm about to be 30. But 30 was a big deal. It's not that bad, but I feel like 40 is real real. <laughs> like, at least it feels like you should have your shit together. And believe you me, a lot of people don't. I believe it. <laughs> but you feel like, okay, I got three years or something. To really get but my shit together. I went through a lot of shit <laughs> over the last year. So now I'm happily 37 and happy to be blessed to be here and to be healthy. Last year, I was on my way to the ER, like right now. I'm not this year, so. Ow. Ow. Yes. Blessings and blessings and blessings. Blessings and blessings. It was off. Yeah. Any other questions? Well, we might have put your camera, man. <gasps> <laughs> you messing up again? No, I'm just holding it. I'm just. I'm not even pressing no buttons. Your arms get tired. Your hands get tired. Okay, well, let's do a song. <laughs> well, uh, we got it. We got it. Okay. Oh, God. I think we're on fire. <laughs> right. Okay, the paper might catch on fire. Don't catch the paper. Wouldn't that be something for the <laughs> would Right. That would be. I'd that would be my world star. <laughs> <laughs> world star. World <laughs> star. World star. Sitting here catching house on fire. Sun is fire. <laughs> Dang. Can I get, can I get y'all yeah. to get closer yeah, together? Yeah, get closer somehow. Yeah, y'all gotta get closer. Be act like you like each other. So your magic mm-hmm. bin of tricks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be mine, like in my room, but now it has toys in it. I didn't pick a song. Yeah, you know we know we're serious. Let's do to me. Okay.
So what's the plan this year, Camille? Every year you do something different. What's the plan <laughs> this year? Right. You definitely made a cryptic... Uh... <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, okay. So I started doing events September 2011. If you are anyone who does, hosts, plans, creates events in Columbus, you know that that is a long, long time <laughs> to do it. A lot of personalities, different artists, different venues, and um, I'm not bored with it, but I feel like it's time to really, really focus on me in my career, because I don't want to be still singing here all the time in a year from now. So over the next year, I'm probably going to do Fed here and there. I may bring back Soul Dope Sunday for a little while, I'm kind of scouting out a venue, um, and then be done. At least, I think so. But I just really want to sing and I want to travel. So what's next? I'm working on an album. Um, it's my eighth year as an artist. I started singing also professionally in 2011. So August of 2019 is eight years, which is like, you know, completion. Mm -hmm. The number eight. So it's just I feel in my soul and my heart that it's time to really do what I'm supposed to do as a singer and things are kind of opening up for me to be able to do that but I spend a lot of time focusing on other artists and pushing other artists and creating platforms for other artists and um, I think that I would be a lot further had I focused on myself but I don't regret it mm -hmm. but it's time for me to go forward so I'm going to do this album and I'm going to write my online soap opera that I announced <laughs> I used to do that a while ago so I'm doing a new one kind of based off Loosely based off the two novels that I published. And um, I think I'm going to do a jazz EP. Let's keep it a wee bop. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I was supposed to do that before I did the R&B album. But I'm going to do both. And I don't know. We'll see what else I think of. And I'll meet in like February. I'll be like, so. I had this great idea. And God told me to do this. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. So that's what's coming up. I have a question. Yes. Have you ever thought about relocating? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can live in Columbus. <laughs> right, and not think about relocating, <laughs> right. I went to a dope um, listening session last week in Atlanta. And I mean, it was dope. You would have loved it. Just the people that was there. Yes, I would like to before Izzy times five. Columbus is great for, I think, having a family and raising kids yeah. if you're just chilling. Yeah. Like, if that, yeah. you want to go to work, you want to raise kids, you want to have some nice property. But if you want to do anything in, like, music, for real, for real, there's, this is not, how many R&B concerts really come through here? Right. Eric Robertson every other Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and he's amazing. I open for him. He was so sweet. But for real, like, really we, they, don't, they don't even come here. So all the opportunities that I've been given as far as to open for national recording artists are not here. And when they do come here, they have already have the bands they want in mind. They already have the singers they want in mind. So somebody like me, unless I put it together, probably won't get a phone call from people here, <laughs> which is fine because this is not for me. So I think I have to at some point. Yes. Where? I don't know. Anything else? Okay, let's do another song. 
Um. <laughs> get that one. That one. This one is hard. Since right, so it's hard. Let's get it. Question for Eric. Hey, Eric. Um, <laughs> this is not the first time you've had a show with Camille. Why? Like, why you keep pairing up? <laughs> <laughs> why is it? We're like, what's up? Like, what's the? Why do you? Why do you feel? Obviously, there's a chemistry there. True. Like, why do you feel the chemistry and why you keep coming back? Well, first off, Camille is probably one of the best business runners around. She's putting some amazing things together. Uh, I always admire the effort that she puts in everything that she does. And also, 
This is fun. Work. Work. She's got a lot of work and effort and a future in it, but it's always a blast to do anything with Camille for sure. Yeah. Cool beans. I have fun and shit. Like. You're a fun time. <laughs> You're a fun time. And she teaches Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, and I give him like random songs. I learned a lot. We were just talking about Purple Snowflakes. Yeah. I'm trying to do a Christmas series, and I'd never heard that one. What was that? The JoJo song, Demonstrate. That oh, was yeah, cool. that was that. That was super random. That was she so liked good, it. though. <laughs> she liked it. I got, like, two more songs, so any more questions? Oh, so you ain't gonna let Eric bring you into the next song? You, you gonna choose this one? <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, Eric, I mean, I'm so Eric has some dope stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like he should do one of his songs. I'm game. Ooh, yeah. there it is. <laughs> yep. Seriously. Hey. Uh, Brown. What? <laughs> Go ahead, Eric. Play the guitar for a right, second, get, Eric. Right. Right. Hold on, play the guitar so for low. a second, <laughs> Eric. Okay. Hey. Need 
You did good, Camille. What's Thank the name? You. What's the name of the track? Kiss and Ride. Kiss so and there's Ride. The original, Ride. And there's a remix. Um, the remix is featuring Mike Smith. Shout out to the Smith family. Key and Mikey. And the remix is really dope, too. So you can go. For those who don't know, I'm on iTunes and Tidal and all of it. Google and Amazon. All of it. Wherever don't you worry, listen to y'all. your music. Spotify. It's just where I listen to music. Go and follow me. Camille's music on YouTube. Follow that. I need to get to 100 subscribers <laughs> so that I can do some stuff on the page. Otherwise, they could charge. Right. Yeah. Oh, so this song is a fan favorite. <laughs> and, um, True. I'm True. Pretty often, people really like it. This one in blow. I'm not going to do blow today. Cause you wrote a whole album (laughs) about your boyfriend. boyfriend. Hold on, she she wrote a whole album about y'all's boyfriends, and y'all ain't beat her up yet. (laughs) That's why. Originally, it was an EP called No Filter, and that was the title. And then, and then, (laughs) then. somebody's girlfriend thought I wanted them, and I didn't because I never do. And I was like, No Filter. I wrote these songs about your boyfriend, (laughs) so. Because that that's project. petty. Because that's because pettiness. That most of the songs on there are nasty. Because pettiness. <laughs> it's pretty petty. It's petty. It's artistically petty. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. So yeah, with the exception of like one love song, the rest of it is pretty nasty. And then there's actually a song called Your Boyfriend. It's sarcasm. <laughs> It's sarcasm. Satire. Sure, it's that's satire. Satire sure that's what you. Sure that's what we're calling it now. It's sarcasm. And then this one. Is Really? Don't do it. Stop I saw this on somebody's lap. Somebody gave me the camera, y'all. Clearly. Oh. Remember when we went to Dayton and did that battle of sexes? And yes. I saw Mr. JG. And <laughs> did you kiss JG in the mouth? Did she? Wow. That was, was not a crazy. Part of the song. It the was, audience was so hyped. Like at the end, the audience was, was hyped. Like it was one of them moments where you just I had to top it. It, it was the audience was hyped though. They, they was hyped. They was nutty. Hey, JG. <laughs> Hi, JG. <laughs> Murph or Derp. Niggas, <laughs> niggas be weird everywhere. Don't trip. Niggas <laughs> ain't weird. <laughs> All the time. Okay, so kids. All the time. Right, let's do it. This is my last one. Then I'm going to drink. Because it's my birthday. Because it's your birthday. Yes. yes. And it's on. And it's I and it's and it's iPad on five percent. <laughs> <Just, laughs> so, hurry up and kiss it right, girl. Right. Kiss it right, girl. <laughs> Make it a quickie tonight. <laughs> <laughs> We're babies. Mm-hmm. 
That's enough right, for you. Right, like, listen, uh, what we got to do? Again. Yeah, She's pressing buttons, so don't worry. It'll be over here in a second. <laughs> Shut up. I was Everyone just trying to respond she to the she people. She's pressing a hundred times. We got lots of, like, happy birthdays and lots of my up and down is crazy. You know, you know, you know, you know they can hear it right if you just acknowledge them. I'm just them. saying. You just acknowledge them verbally, I'm sure. <laughs> <He's dying. laughs> you don't have right. to say. It's going to take you five minutes. It is. She said thank you. Like, she can't even say thank you. <laughs> hey, you better go on, Eric. Hey. Hey. That's a matter of fact. You're going to win the to me. No matter what your friends try to tell you, we were meant to fall in love. Anytime, love. it's like that, it's like that. Oh, every little step I take, hey. Jay said, how are so 
episode is traumatized. <laughs> Apparently he was watching. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Every little sound. <laughs> right. Yeah, you got a freestyle, baby. We got it. <laughs> Come on, y'all better sing. There's four singers in this room. Y'all better get it in. <laughs> it's like that. It's like that. I've never heard 